Hello Pisces, Pisces rising, Pisces moon. This is Ellie from Hypno You with your October love focus reading. Now I am a Pisces ascending sign so I'm just as excited about these cards as you are too. Now I have listened to the feedback and from the fan subscribers and the emails who have told me that they do prefer the four tarot cards, one for each week because it's more specific and tells you more information. So we will do what you want. I'm also going to use Adoring Virtue messages from the angels and choose one card that will speak for your spiritual uh, guidance, any challenges that may come up or what you've got to keep in mind this month. Also, before I did these readings, I sat down and meditated and asked the angels for a specific message for each sign. Now, your sign is swim, grow, and know. So swimming, going with the flow, uh, plenty of fish in the ocean, getting in touch with your emotions, going with the flow, getting active, getting out there. Growing, growing as a person, growing within, growing as a couple, growing um, seeds of, of excitement in a brand new relationship and knowing. Using your intuition, Pisces, you are the psychic. You uh, use your intuition and what you sense is right. So they're saying to you, you know, you just know. You know what's coming up. You're excited. You know what's happening. And it's interesting. We've got Chantel. Brand new relationships or reigniting with someone from the past. So there could be an ex coming in and I see that uh, Leo there. There is a Leo coming in. And... Um, we do have the judgment card in the third week. So uh, that is also speaking of a hearing from someone uh, from the past as well. Hearing from someone that you wanted to hear from but haven't. So let's get started. Nine of Wands uh, says go for it. So if you like someone, get out there and go for it because if you don't, you're going to miss your chance. Those of you in a relationship uh, or just started dating someone, they're saying go for it. Someone offers you to move in or to get married and you're a bit, oh, you know, it feels really good but I don't know, I'm scared. They're saying go for it. What have you got to lose? Uh, swim, grow, and know. You know in your gut, you're, you've got the psychic intuition. You know it, you can feel it. This is about taking action. Now, this also would be about some of you uh, deciding about going online dating because there's uh, foreign lands there. So it could be online dating. Uh, this is taking action because it's wands. Wands are about action and it's about your passions. It's about getting out there and being active as well. I, feel, I see sports fields for some of you, getting active and meeting someone on the sports field. In the second week, we do have the Ten of Wands. This is old lessons, old experiences, old wounds coming back. You're going through it again. What are you doing over and over again to get in your way? I've said this before. Um, this is also about uh, in a couple, uh, you may have hurt your back or they may have hurt their back, so you need to rely on each other this week. It could be someone using cutting words to cut you this week. It could be that you feel betrayed, you feel like someone went behind your back or stabbed you in the back or being quite deceitful. Uh, feeling unsupported, feeling blue, feeling down, feeling isolated, feeling down. Uh, those of you that are single, um, this could be that you feel like no one's ever got your back and you feel like there's no hope for the future. But judgment card says promise, prosperity and wonderful things coming. This is something to put your arms up about and being happy about. This is rejoicement, joyous occasions, announcements, getting engaged, having babies, good news coming. Promise for the future, reuniting with someone from the past. And in the fourth week, we have the Three of Pentacles, but in reverse. This is about um, a couple of things. First of all, in all trouble, people from outside influences coming in and trying to get in between you. This is also about, you know, a, a stall in that hard work that you're doing together as a couple. Uh, also, singles, this could mean that you just want to take a time out. You're just taking a time out before you, you know, go forward. Um, that you're, you're taking a time out to, you know, in a breathing, meditative, uh, relief, relax, uh, a breath before the storm. So this could be just taking a moment out this week, gathering your thoughts before you move forward. Uh, it could be about in-law trouble, uh, trouble, family trouble. You know, um, if your friends are classed as family, they could be causing trouble. It could be that you two as a couple uh, are having trouble from outside influences. People, you know, isolating you, not letting you be part of the, the group. Okay, so Pisces, I hope you've enjoyed that and I shall see you next month.